Hello there, this is Dimitris Chris 2 and I'm back with another Blender video tutorial. For this one we will see how we can easily model an object for our abstract scenes and renders. We're going to use the default cube, we have it selected right here, let's zoom in to take a closer look. And I'll hit 5 on my numeric keypad for the user or for view. Hit the tab key to switch from object to edit mode and control tab for the mesh select mode and click on face to work on the faces of the object. What I'll also do is move right here under the pivot point menu and select individual origins so that I'm operating on the individual faces of this object. Now, what I'm going to do is click through the individual faces, you can see them right here. Let's extrude them out slightly at about here. Then I'll hit extrude individual again, extrude them out slightly and hit the S key to scale them down. And I'm creating a nice little bevel here. Extrude individual again, right mouse button click to cancel any movement, hit the S key to scale down at about here. Extrude individual once more. Let's pull them in and about here. And this is pretty much the method we used at the run round tutorial I've posted at about a month before. But as you can see, you can quickly create nice little objects for your scene and all. Now let's scale down the extruded faces. Extrude individual again. Let's pull them in. OK. Extrude individual again. Right mouse button click to cancel the movement. S. Scale it down. And about here. Extrude individual. Once more. Pull them in. All right. Extrude individual again. Right mouse button click. S to scale. And what we can also do now is hit W for the specials menu and click subdivide. And let's increase the number of cuts from one. Let's set it up to two. I'm going to select one, two, three, four, and five. This cross shapes pattern of faces here. One, two, three, four, five. And you don't have to always work symmetrically. We can, for example, select those at the horizontal axis and leave the top and bottom faces unselected, so let's see. OK. Extrude individual. Right mouse button click to cancel any movement. Yes, key to scale them down. OK. Extrude individual once more. Let's extrude them out. All right. Extrude individual again. Slightly extrude them out. And then hit the S key to scale down the extrude faces. Let's create a nice small bevel here as well. Extrude individual. Right mouse button click to cancel the movement and S to scale. All right. Extrude individual. Let's pull them in. And about here. Extrude individual. Right mouse button to cancel the movement and S to scale them down a lot. And extrude individual, let's extrude them out. All right. And now we can work at the top part and the bottom part of the object. Let's select one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's extrude individual. Right mouse button click to cancel the movement S to scale them down. All right. Looking good. Extrude individual once more. Let's pull them out. All right. Extrude individual again. Right mouse button click S to scale. Let's scale them up. And about here. Extrude individual. Extrude them out. All right. Once more. Extrude individual slightly. And then S to scale down. Let's create a nice little bevel here again. Extrude individual, right mouse button click to cancel the movement S to scale them down at about here. Extrude individual once more. 
let's pull them down okay and you can also select one two three and again I'm working on the top and bottom faces of the cube here one two three and one two three extrude individual right mouse button click to cancel movement as to scale them down and about here and extrude individual and let's put them back slightly all right now tabs to switch from edit object mode and you can see our object it's pretty easy pretty fast to build your abstract objects this way and you can also as you can imagine go crazy with it you can for example select those one two three and move to the bottom one two three okay let's take a look extrude individual right mouse button click to cancel the movement as to scale them down and extrude individual let's extrude them out extrude individual once more slightly and then S to scale them down, create bevel. Extrude individual, right mouse button click, cancel the movement for the extruded faces. Okay, and extrude individual. Let's put them at about here. Now, this object is pretty hard to unwrap to create some material, some texture for it. But what you can do is do the following. To the materials click this little icon for the materials we have the material here applied what you can do is hit the plus icon create a new material let's click new i'm going to call this one glow and let's make this one a nice orange color and about here okay bring the, the specular density down to zero and let's add some emit set it up to one and let's see what we can do we have those faces here selected i'll move down here and click select more now we have those faces selected you can see them both at the top and bottom and i'll click assign and what you can also do is let's see i'm holding down the alt key click here and then let's find the right place to select shift alt shift alt and click here alt and click here and once more shift alt and click here i'm selecting those loops right here okay and let's do this at the top and bottom as well select them and select them and we can hit the plus again click new for a new material i'm going to call this one gray okay bring the specular intensity down make it slightly darker once you're ready click assign to assign the selected material on the selected faces and you can see how this one looks let's add one more material select one two three and one two three okay click plus new for a new material and this one will be red glow pick a nice strong red color and about here okay and then set the emit to 2 and click assign to assign the material the red glow material on the selected faces now you can see how this looks pretty easy pretty fast to build and you can use such, such objects for your abstract scenes and renders they're pretty easy and pretty fast to build so this is it this is Dimitri Scris tool let's quick uh, render a quick image to take a look I'm going to check environment lightning I'm leaving the camera as it is. 
let's increase the samples here for the uh, ray trace gather and click render so this is it this is Dimitris Christou this is a quick and simple tutorial on building your own abstract objects and thanks for watching